Hi, my name is Matthew Rohr, and I'd like to give you a quick demo on the Trending Analyzer tool for the App Market Analyzer. The Trending Analyzer is a great tool to utilize if you're looking for new project ideas or if you're just trying to research what's popular right now. To get started, all we have to do is select a category, and there are many to choose from, choose a country, and select a chart type. Now before we hit find trends, let's talk about this control right here. Simple fetches versus complex fetching, and what that means. This tool was put in to save time during lookups. Simple fetches are only gonna gather the bare amount of data needed to display positional and trending information. This lookup tends to be very, very quick, but again, it only gives minimal data. You can see here, we, base, we do have positional data, we have change data, app name, publisher, rating, billing model and title count. And that's about all we really get with simple fetches versus complex fetches. Now complex fetches, this is one of the more powerful features that sets the app market analyzer apart. This is more for analyzing the entire market. If you wanna get all the data in one view, get a bird's eye view of what's going on, use complex fetches. Now it's gonna do a profile lookup on every single app found, which takes additional time if you have a slower internet connection. Now, the search I just did was really quick. And that's only because all the data that you see here is cached. And to control that cache, you would open up your settings box. And if you scroll down near to the bottom, you see this app cache time limit setting. Right now, mine is set to three days. Now this setting determines how long app data will be used before it's refreshed from the system. Now, just to be clear, this only affects complex data. So this is ratings, last update date, um, number of ratings, uh, category, things like that. Positional data or training information, that's always going to be refreshed on every single app lookup. So once we've done our search, our initial training search, uh, we can start filtering our data. And there's numerous different filters to use to really fine tune this data to suit our own personal needs. Some of those include the title count, rating, number of ratings, you can filter by installs, billing model, or rank chains. So for example, if I just wanted to see all the apps that are currently moving up the charts, I could select rank change moving up, and you can see everything changes accordingly. And then I can move everything back. So let's look at some of the actual data here. So you'll notice right away, some of these cells are color coded and that's done to help quickly distinguish between positive and negative data. This conditional formatting can be turned off if you open up your settings and check this box here where it says conditional formatting, just turn it off, just click it. Now some of the additional fields here that you're gonna, you see here, we see the current store position, we see the, the change. Now this change is based off of your own searches, your own trending searches. So you'd have to come back in here tomorrow and if you do another trending search, you'll be able to see what apps are moving up or what apps are moving down. You'll see the different names. Now if I click on one of these names, it would load the App Insights profile for that app. You can add it to your favorite box. If I click on this publisher, it would actually take me to the App Insights uh, a publisher uh, a tool and it will show me all the apps by this publisher. Very powerful tool. Category installs, app worth, which is only a pro feature only, current rating, number of ratings, and so forth. Now I've got my columns set up for what I need to see, for what I would like to see, but you can adjust what you see here through the settings. If you open up your settings box and you go down to column customization, you can pick and choose what, what you'd like to see during trending, favorites, and general app searches. Now, if we scroll down past these results, we can view additional chart insights based off of these current filtered results. Now, the first chart we come to is the trending chart averages, which is basically just an average of all the data that you see above. This next chart, top app name keywords, basically what we're doing is we're, we're looking at all the different app names and we're picking and choosing the most popular words that are used over and over again from name to name. And according to this, for top grossing Android apps, uh, the most popular names are slots and casino. That's interesting. Might be worthwhile to investigate that a little further. Uh, the next chart we have here is a publisher count. Now, again, what we do is, is we 
add up how many times a publisher appears on the charts above. We can see the publisher King has appeared six times. Now this could mean that they published uh, six different apps that are just very popular. Um, but more relevant toward doing a general app research and app insights, you get the same publisher count. Um, if you see a publisher appear multiple times in one chart, it usually means that they're scanning an app. And what that means is, is they, they found an app that works and they'll reuse that same infrastructure over and over again and just add different graphics and different icons to it. And some of them are really, really successful. And this tool is put into place in the App Market Analyzer so you can see if a publisher is doing that. And if they are doing that, it might be a good indication uh, of a good strategy to follow after. Uh, see if there's any way that maybe you could do the same. So. If we just go down a little farther, we got two additional charts here. One is the fastest rising apps, which just shows all the apps currently um, that are shooting through the charts right now. We can see that Marvel Puzzle Quest has changed four positions um, and is moving up. And if we look at fastest falling apps, we can see that Puzzle and Dragons is falling pretty quickly, it looks like. And that's it for the Trending Analyzer.